I'm Kyle Stover, and I'm here with... Ryan Kendall. Ryan Kendall. And uh, what do you do, Ryan? I sing songs. Specifically, I sing League of Legends parodies, at least at this convention. I also write original indie acoustic folk music mm -hmm. style stuff as well. So you were performing up on stage? I was, yes. So you are like invited here and it was like, can you give a concert? Yeah. That's and how'd that much, feel? It felt pretty good. This was the first time I had performed for such a large audience. Feeling pretty famous? Um, well, I, the thing that made me feel famous was when one person was already familiar with my work and she was mouthing my lyrics that I was singing while I was singing them. So that was that was a pretty magical feeling. Uh, That's awesome. I had never experienced that before. This is your second day here, right? Yes, this is my second day here. This is my first time ever performing at a convention. Really? Yep. Well, congratulations for LEC Squared being your um, concert cherry. Yes. Pop that finally. Quite nice. High five. High five for that. Yeah. That's going to spike the audio. Is there anything else you're doing here? You had your concert. What else you got? Uh, the only other thing that I was asked to do that I was participating in was a meet and greet over at the other side of the hall. Nice. So um, I'm sitting with the Yordles. Very the Yordles cool. are pretty cool folks. I just met yeah. them for the first time at the convention. Uh, there we go. Me too. I got Yordles. Oh, Yordles. Yeah. The, the Yordles. They're cool. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, the Yordles are they're super cool guys. They're I just bet. really, really nice. They have really cool acoustic music, which is cool because a lot of other League of Legends music folks in mm -hmm. the league community do a lot of just like dub over work. They do stuff where it's a like um, like Instalock has some really nice stuff. They have really great talented vocalists mm -hmm. and writers, but they don't play any of the instruments that they're doing. And so I really appreciate that the Yordles like me play everything that they that you hear. Everything you hear in a, a Yordles song is them playing an instrument an or singing the song. And I, I really wow. appreciate that, because that's, that's what I always feel like, personally, I like to do. Right. As and a, it's not a musician. garage band backtrack, something that's really, correct, you know, electronic. Yeah. Something that's already Very been, cool. been pre, preset. Right. For the next question, can we switch glasses? I'm really not well known. Like, mm -hmm. a couple of my videos have about 100,000 views, but most of them... That's impressive still. Uh, it's because I got... Somebody posted it on Reddit, and nice. he, so it that's got to the boost. front page of that's Reddit for boost. like a day. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. Um, I knew you were trolling when you locked in. Was the first one that ever got any attention. That got okay. over a little over a thousand, hundred thousand, and then set fire to the vein. Also got a little over a hundred thousand because of Reddit. And but the turnover rate is really, really bad. Mm. People will see that one thing and then they don't care to go and check out anything else. And I can see that by how many views my other videos have. Yeah. Because it. other all most of my other videos don't have much more than like two thousand views. All right. Still, so, 100,000, that's fantastic. Yeah, 100,000 for a couple of videos, yeah. I'll take it, because that's, I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, I was going to say, we all start from somewhere, but if you're starting at 100,000, well, <laughs> you build up to it, but yeah, yeah. well deserved. Well, Very good you. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then my, my free farming one that I posted that won me the song of, the very first song of the summon. Are you familiar with Song of the Summons? No. Nah. There's, um... Sorry. <laughs> a, a bunch of years back at this point, pretty much like my first year playing, they held a competition, a riot was it was an official competition All right. by Riot called Song of the Summon. Got and you it. could submit parodies or original music that was League of Legends related. Mm -hmm. And so I submitted Free Farming because it was just an idea that a couple a friends of, of mine which is a parody of Free Falling. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. For any for any of you who are not aware of it, <laughs> you should listen to it right now. The link will be here. Right right here. Make the box look good. Right there. Okay. <laughs> so um so my friend and I, every now and then we'd be playing League of Legends together, and we'd just be in one of the lanes killing minions, nobody's coming to stop us, and one of us would just start singing, Cause I'm free, free farming. And so um, we actually turned it, I turned it into a full song. Very nice. Because I was like, well, this is appropriate. I think, I think people might like this, they might think it's For funny. Sure. So I did it, produced it. I uh, had my buddy draw a little picture. Oh, of, you got a thumbnail for it. Yeah, we had a thumbnail that's for it awesome. in it. Um, and so that's what we did for the video, was we just had the picture that he drew. Very cool. And submitted it to League. I guess they liked it, because they gave us first place. Really? That's fantastic. Yeah, well, to be fair, there were 10 first place winners. Oh. I was just one of the 10 first place winners. Still, hey, hey, first I'll place. I'll take it, yeah. Place, right. Yeah, there were, there were a lot of submissions, and to get first place was... It was very humbling. Very it was, cool. It was, it was very flattering. Just so the concerned mothers at home know for sure. Is this a real tattoo? It is not. All right, you haven't branded yourself. I haven't. You haven't not sold yet. out to yourself. No, not yet, but I'm working on it. All right. It is a henna tattoo done by one of the booths that is currently here. 
Let's take a look at your card a second. Oh, my cards. Here's the cards and there's some stickers. The business card and the stickers. The reason these look the way they do is because um, I actually go by another name sometimes, which is Hilltop Sunset. If I ever develop a band, a full band, instead it's just me, mm -hmm. uh, that's the name of it is Hilltop Sunset. So, but we now, still got the parentheses. Yes, we still got the parentheses with my name in it. You have so, to write that on all of them? Now? I did. I oh, did. that's painstaking. It, was it wasn't too bad. Labor of love. Yeah, exactly. And so, um, but yeah, so I actually noticed that a lot of my original music has sun imagery in it, and that wasn't on purpose. Hmm. It's just huh. kind of something that I do. I really like nature imagery, so I often sing about it. And nice. so, um, Hilltop Sunset actually came from a, a book that I'm working on. Really? One of, one of the characters in the book. Songwriter and writer. Yeah, yeah. I, well done. Yeah. Renaissance man. Yeah, absolutely. I actually have my bachelor's in English and creative writing. Really? So, yeah, because I was, I was writing music at the time, but I wasn't so concerned with the musical aspects as the lyrical aspects. Okay. Because I, I feel like that's something that gets lost a lot in pop music these days is meaningful lyrics right. and it's something that I wanted to bring back to it because I feel like something is really lost or I feel like music is sort of just like taken for granted when you're not using it to its full potential right. and if you can take the universal language of music and combine that with like the understanding that comes from a language then you get something that has an even more like exponentially meaningful meaning <laughs> All right, just cut the recording. I'm just going to sleep with this guy now. I, re I do really like to craft lyrics that mean something to me. Um, recently, I wrote a song about student debt. And it's just, it's all about... I can relate. It's all about just like feeling like you just, you're not getting anywhere. Um, yep. The second verse starts like, You gave me seeds, so now I'm on my hands and knees. I'm working hard to plant some trees. But for everyone I see that grows, you tell me there's two I owe. Oh. Oh. That's so true. So listen, give that one a listen. It's uh, it's called Back to Nothing, is what it's called. It'll be linked here. Back to Nothing is uh, it's one of my new favorites, just because like it's something that I've been feeling for four or five years now since I've graduated college, and I just feel it every single day. Yep. I feel it every day. So I wrote a song about it, and I was really happy with how it came out, and I encourage you to give it a listen to. Where does your inspiration come from? These just messing around and what pops sticks oh, and absolutely. go or. Um, yeah, a lot of times, uh, every one of my personal songs is about something that I've experienced or seen or witnessed in my life. Mm -hmm. uh, I have basically a whole album worth of lyrics dedicated to like relationships and love. Nice. And then I have another, um, and that one, th these albums I haven't been released yet because I haven't produced them yet. Right. But the, basically the relationship songs, that album's going to be called Never Fade Tonight, nice. and I'm working on an album right now called Honest Man in a World of Liars. Ah, I like it. And it's basically about how I feel about our society and different things that I've experienced with people and miscommunication, how people understand one another, mm -hmm. things related to that. Cool. Yeah. If our listeners at home like what, like what you hear, like what you're listening to, where can they find you? They can find me at... Hilltop, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, they can find me at Hilltop they can Sunset. Find me. Uh. <laughs> HilltopSunset.com is my website. Everything is linked from that website. You can find my Twitter, you can find my Facebook page, you can find my Bandcamp, SoundCloud, YouTube. It's all on HilltopSunset.com. And can they find you on iTunes yet? Are you on there? No. Okay. If somehow right. they make it That's everything. It's their own doom. We'll poke them forever. Can't see playing with nobody but you.